Hello everyone, it's Ryan back again to bring you another video. Uh, so in this video we're going to be checking out the Red Sea Reef Wave 25 that we installed on our Red Sea Reefer 250. Uh, can you believe it's actually almost been two months since we uh, installed that, that wave maker. Uh, so I thought, you know what, it's only right that I do a follow up video, uh, do a review of it, see what, well, let you guys know what we think of it and uh, yeah just dive into any issues and complications that we've come across along the way so i'd say it's been two months that we've been using it for uh, let's go and take a look at it so i apologize about the light at the moment is uh it is quite blue i don't know how well the camera is going to pick this up but we'll go with it because the corals are looking absolutely fantastic at the moment and i didn't want to disturb them by playing around with the schedule And there we go, you can see that the Reef Wave 25 is just there in the left hand side on the panel. I thought I'd place it on the left hand panel because it would give us really good flow, uh, laminar flow across the aquarium. We do have another wave maker in the, the top right hand corner there. And then of course we've got the return coming from the sump. And it's, it's working really nicely like that. The, one of the best things about the the reef wave that I've really really enjoyed uh, playing around with is the feature of being able to move the impellers at different angles so you can see the one closest to us I've got it upturned so you can see that in the actual surface of the water being quite agitated and the impeller nearest the back of the aquarium, we've got that pointing more towards the rock work. And that works ever so well because straight away from one wave maker, from one pump, you've got two different flow patterns, which is really, really cool. You can see that on the Signalaria there. That's just moving about, waving about with the flow there. Another really interesting feature of this this wave maker is the fact that you can actually do forward and reverse flow. So we've actually got that set on the uh, on the app and I think we've got it com coming on and doing that every two or three hours. So again forward flow goes this way into the aquarium Reverse flow is more hitting the back panel and going down and around this way Which is really cool because again, it's going to help to eliminate any dead spots. You can see that literally There's very little detritus and debris on the sand bed The rock work has pretty much no detritus Held within it Flows really great you can see that all of the corals are randomly moving which is fantastic and that's one of the reasons why I've, I've really kind of taken to this wave maker is that uh, I think it gives a fantastic flow around the aquarium this wave maker is really good it's done done as proud for the couple of years that we've had it running however though the one downside to direct wave makers is ex it's exactly that it's going to give you a direct flow and uh, whereas this wave maker you can obviously as I say you can turn each individual impeller so straight away that's given you random flow directional random flow but then the fact that you can change it up you can have pulse mode you can have constant mode reverse forward and it's just it really is fantastic bit of kit we from the off decided to use the app to control it so we decided to make sure that on the con <coughs> controller we had it switched to the reef beat app so if you have just bought one of these from us or you're not quite sure and you're thinking of buying one of these this will be really handy tip for you so I'll just pan down now so you can see that this is the actual controller Try and focus in, there we go. 
Notice on the bottom right hand corner there, there's a little uh, seahorse. That's obviously the Red Sea. What word am I after here? Icon uh, logo, that's the one. Red Sea logo. <laughs> Dear me, sorry about this, guys. Uh, so you can see the Red Sea logo down in the bottom right hand corner, and you can see that there's a right red light lit above it. That means that this controller is set to the reef beat mode, and so therefore it allows us to sync with the pump through the Wi-Fi uh, directly through our phone. Uh, if you're having issues with being able to actually sync up and control it, this is why it's probably not selected. So you just got to make sure you select that and make sure you've got that red button above the Reef Beat uh, app sign, and then you're good to go. So we never actually touch this or play around with this. It's all done through the app. The app is really, really smooth. Uh, I might even attach some uh, some video into this. Uh, I might not. Who knows? If, if 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 you're lucky, maybe I will. But to be honest, I think I covered it pretty well in the uh, the last video. If you didn't see that, check it out. It was only a couple of videos ago where we basically went through all of the dimensions of the Reefwave 25, uh, the prices of the Reef 25 and the 45 and then how to install it and also a quick look at the app and getting it up and running. So I pretty much did that, covered that in the last video. So I'd say this is a follow-up video. It's working brilliantly uh, so far. Have there been any problems, any issues so far? None whatsoever. The noise coming from the actual unit, the, the, there isn't any. It is so quiet. It is one of the quietest wave makers that we've ever had installed in the shop. And I would quite happily put one on any aquarium, be it marine or a really large freshwater aquarium. I've actually got a six foot by two foot by 26 inch aquarium at home, uh, which is going to be a freshwater aquarium. And I would not hesitate at all applying one of these into it because yeah, they're just so quiet. They they really are fantastic. Now, a couple of people have mentioned that the only downside with this wave maker is that the wire is inside the aquarium. Yes, that's true. But to be honest, it's not too much of an issue for me personally. If you have the the wave maker up near the top, we've got it about five inches away from the water surface. To be honest, I don't really notice the wire that much. And the profile of the wave maker itself is really, really sleek and slim. This one is the 25, if you're wondering, in here. So yeah, held on by a, by a magnet. Really strong as well, so be careful with that. And I think that pretty much brings us to uh, the end of this video, guys. So as I say, these are, well, currently we've sold out. We're waiting for Red Sea to get more into the UK, which hopefully should be mid-May. Uh, so only a couple of weeks to go now, uh, only a couple of weeks to go now. If you are interested in the 25 or the 45, feel free to get in touch, drop us a private message on our Facebook page, and we can take it from there. As always, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Liking the video always helps the channel grow. Uh, we've had uh, quite a few new subscribers over the past couple of weeks, so thank you so much to everyone that subscribed. As always, feel free to subscribe the, uh, to our channel and hit that bell notification button, so then you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. So this is the Reef Wave 25 in our Reefer 250. Thanks very much guys, catch you on the next one.